All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 26th Annual uh, Congressional Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Expo and Policy Forum. I'm Dan Brissett. I'm the president of the Environmental and Energy Study Institute. And uh, we are at the beginning of a marathon day of panels of experts and business leaders, uh, innovators and practitioners uh, who will be here all day to talk about the multiple benefits of investments in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, and there are a lot of great benefits. We're talking about jobs, emissions reductions. Uh, we're talking about savings for families. We're talking about all sorts of benefits. Um, our first panel uh, is Energy Efficiency Essentials, and we'll get started with that right away. Um, but before that, we have a very special guest. So um, the expo is a lot of, it's a lot of work uh, to set up. Uh, we have uh, an in-person audience today. We also are live casting this. So if you have to step away, uh, you can visit us online at www.esi.org and visit our live cast. Um, but we really couldn't do uh, the expo. We couldn't really work on these issues if it weren't for the leadership of the Senate Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus. And for the last couple years, we have had just, I mean, delight, pleasure, you name the it just synonyms, uh, pleasure of working with the leadership uh, of the caucus on a bipartisan basis. Um, Senator Mike Crapo from Idaho, and our special guest this morning, Senator Jack Reed from Rhode Island. Uh, their tremendous staffs uh, do a, a huge amount for us over the course uh, of the lead up. And it means a great deal for Senator Reed to join us this morning and welcome everyone to the expo. So Senator Reed, I'll invite you up to the lectern. Thank you so much for everything you and your staff have done to make today a big success. Thank you. Great to see you. Well, thank you, Dan, very much, and I'm delighted to be joining you for the 26th Annual Congressional Clean Energy Expo and Policy Forum. You have a distinguished panel waiting uh, to present, uh, so I will be brief. I'm always short, uh, but I will be brief. Uh, let me start by recognizing Dan uh, Brissett and the fantastic team in EESI for their hard work in organizing this event. And let me also thank the panelists, the exhibitors, uh, for taking the time to lend their expertise to an important topic. As co-chair of the Senate's Renewable Energy and Efficiency Caucus, I work with Senator uh, Mike Crapo of Idaho, my friend and colleague, to increase awareness among our colleagues about renewable energy technologies and energy efficiency. And um, I don't think it takes uh, much uh, to remind people over the last several days how critical uh, reducing our energy demands are to our economy with weather at 100 plus degrees, with the water off Florida at 90 plus degrees, uh, we have a climate crisis. And one way to resolve that crisis is to reduce our use of energy. Uh, we all represent different parts of the country. Mike Crapo from Idaho, I'm from Rhode Island, they're not exactly the same, but we both, Mike and I, understand the importance of coming together to ensure that Congress has the information it needs to make educated decisions about these issues. And we know energy efficiency provides real results, both for our wallets and for the environment. Indeed, as someone once said, the cheapest and cleanest form of energy is the energy we don't use. As a senior member of the Appropriations Committee, I'm working hard to support strong funding for weatherization and other programs that help boost energy efficiency and propel a clean energy future. In addition, as you're aware, Congress passed a historic climate law last summer. The Inflation Reduction Act invests about $370 billion in affordable clean energy initiatives that will make America more energy independent. The law is forecasted to reduce the United States carbon emissions by 40% by 2030 through electrification and energy efficiency. And importantly, the incentives in this law will help Americans save thousands on their energy bills. But we could not have done that legislation without you, uh, without all of the work you've done over 26 years to provide uh, a basis of knowledge and expertise that we were able to use constructively. So I want to thank you for joining us again today. 
Good luck with your panels um, and good luck with the work. It's critically important. And as I said, if you if you need a reminder, just step outside into the 95 degree weather and you'll be reminded. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Reid, and thank you, Rachel and Anthony and everyone else on Team Reid who helped uh, bring us all together today.